I did will be uh, adding some very significant sanctions onto Iran. And what will they include, sir? We'll be announcing it over the next uh, 48 hours. And you said that there will be a further announcement on Iran. Are you looking at a military strike? We'll see what happens. What are the options, Mr. President, that you're considering? You just said that there were some very bad things. Well, there are many options, as you know, Phil. There are many options. And uh, there's the ultimate option, and there are options a lot less than that. And we'll see. We're in a very powerful position. Right now, we're in a very, very powerful position. Mr. President, have you seen evidence proves that Iran was behind the attack? Well, it's looking that way. We'll have some pretty good, uh, uh, we're having some very strong studies done, but it's certainly looking that way at this moment. And uh, we'll let you know. As soon as we find out definitively, we'll let you know. But it does look that way. Do I want war? I don't want war with anybody. I'm somebody that would like not to have war. We have the strongest military in the world. We've spent more than a trillion and a half dollars in the last short period of time on our military. Nobody's even come close. We have the best equipment in the world. We have the best missiles. And as you say, you just bought the Patriot system. There's nothing even close. Uh, but uh, no, I don't want war with anybody, but we're prepared more than anybody. Uh, two and a half years ago, I will tell you, it was not the same thing. And with what we've done, we've totally rebuilt our military in so many different ways, but we've rebuilt it. And uh, there's nobody that has the F-35. We have the best fighter jets, the best rockets, the best missiles, the best equipment. Uh, but with all of that being said, we'd certainly like to avoid it. And China has taken a very hard hit over the last number of months. You know, they've lost uh, 3 million jobs. It'll <laughs> soon be much more than 3 million jobs. They're Chain is breaking. The chain is breaking up like nobody's seen before. And once that happens, it's very hard to put it back together. You understand? I think they want, very much want to make a deal. And the longer they wait, the harder it is to put it back. Sir, uh, can you help us uh, understand the timeline on the China calls? Were you referring to the statement by the vice? Well, we've had many calls. Uh, or Secretary. Mnuchin is here, and you've had many calls over the last 24 hours, but certainly over the last 48 hours. Uh, we've had many calls, not just one. This isn't one. And these are high-level calls. They want to make a deal. And by the way, I think a deal is going to be made, but they want to make a deal. So the, the Chinese are saying that there weren't any particular The Chinese are not calls. saying that. Not Excuse me, let, me, let me explain something. The vice chairman of China, do you get higher than that other than President Xi? The vice president, the vice chairman, it's like the vice president, the vice chairman made the statement that he wants to make a deal, that he wants to see a calm atmosphere, he wants it all to happen. That says it there. I don't have to talk about, you know, you folks who were reporting before, well, we can't find any phone call. He released a statement. I didn't release it. He released a statement. But there were phone calls, sir, Mr. President. There were phone calls. Numerous calls. Yes, it comes doesn't. from is the back and forth and the changing you know, statements from yourself so that well, sorry it's, it's the way I point. negotiate so my question is is that a strategy is it a strategy to call President Xi an enemy one day and then say that yeah. relations are very no, good no, next no. day it's, and then you know I mean it's gone back it's the way I negotiate it's done very well for me over the years and it's doing even better for the country